Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have a flip through to share with you guys. It has been a while since I've done one of these, so please bear with me. But this deck is the Cosmic Pearl Oracle. It is by Ashley Frost and Leah Showman. I love this deck. I've seen that the Witch's Roots um, made this third deck for their, their personal personalized oracle reading for, I believe, I don't know if it was this month or last month. But I got online, checked it out, fell in love with a beautiful, um, like, Victorian pre-Raphaelite, like, artwork. And it's just, just a stunning deck. So, without further rambling, let's get into this and look at this beautiful, beautiful deck. This is what she looks like. And on the back, I don't know if you guys can read that. It says the cosmic pearl oracle. Oh, I got a shadow. Hopefully that got rid of the shadow. But the box says, embark on a journey of sacred love and infinite wisdom with divine feminine guidance. The cosmic pearl oracle deck is a captivating, enchanting tool designed to awaken your heart, ignite your intuition, and embrace the power of the divine feminine archetype. This romantic and fluid deck is a tribute to Aphrodite, the goddess of love, beauty, and sensuality. By honoring the element of water, she invites you to dive deep into your heart center, exploring its depths and unlocking its profound wisdom. It is a 45 or 44 card deck and a 104 page guidebook. And that's Sacred Scribe, who published it. It is a magnetic, a magnetic clip. And on the inside, it says, As seashell codes and iridescent pearls, fluid journeys, tides have turned. Drops of water on your cheeks, forgotten frequencies that you continue to seek. Pink rose petals drop out of the sky, a breeze that confirms an angel's nearby. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sybil. Sybil just got close to the candle. And she's like, what was that? <laughs> but... Um, and then it says, take this gift and leave all of your fears behind, expand your mind, and step into your feminine light. Af Aphrodite. And here, here's the guidebook. So we'll, we'll do that in the back. And it is a color, a color guidebook. I'll show you the layout really quickly. So we have a table of contents, introduction. How to use the cards, single card pull, three card spread, five card spread, and we go into the to the cards themselves. So each card has the keywords, and then you have a write up on it. There's always like a little poem or something like that there, and then each card has a practice to do with it, which I really like that. So every single. Every single card is like that. So that is the book. But let's get into these beauties. And that's what the, the bottom of the box looks like. But these cards, they're that beautiful, like matte, buttery feel. And they're just, they're divine. But the artwork, I mean, she's freaking beautiful. So without further ado, let's get into this. First card is divine daily devotion cultivate create space and connection then two is the heart-centered mystic the heart-centered mystic the cosmos made of stars light leader look at that and that artwork is just stunning aphrodite dreams Dreamer, goddess, energy, fluidity. Divine desires, soul callings, follow your heart, inner whisper. Five is potent passion, sensuality, purpose, and power. Six is creative enchantress, create dreamscapes, look within. Seven, inner beauty, internal light, kindness, and service. 
8 is Aligned Romance, Soulmate, Pure Intentions, and True Love. Oh, I like that. 9 is Pink Rose Petals, Blessings, Gratitude, and Joy. 10, Fountain of Love, Oneness, Unconditional Bliss, Source Energy. 11, Saltwater Codes, Cleanse, Protection, Remembrance. Oh, look at that. 12, Call in the Doves, Transformation, Renewal, Home. 13, The Red Anemone, Rebirth, End of Cycle, Reflection. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. I love, like, the light. The light and the dark in the card. And then we have 14, Deepen Your Faith, Divine Pool, Trust, and Surrender. It's gorgeous. And 15 is Floral Feminine Codes, Celebration, Abundance, Devotion. 16, Soft Goddess Era, Gentle Energy, Heart healing support. 17, the ocean, the oceanic mirror, boundless, openness, infinite beauty. That's gorgeous. 18, shell codes, resilience, determination, and mindfulness. 19, Strawberry Fields, Fertility, Inner Spring, and Purity. 20, Salt in Your Hair, Wild Heart, Uniqueness, and Untamed. I like that. 21, The Fertile Heart, Receptive, Eyes Wide Open, Uncover. Look at that. 22, the Keeper of the Pearls, Innocence, Sincerity, and Loyalty. Oh, I like that. And look, and look at the eyes in the ring. Once you start looking at these cards, you start seeing other things, other things within them. Then we have 23, the Myrtle Portal, Sacred, Community, and Love. Twenty-four, practice presence, grounded, embodied, centered. Twenty-five, goddess of the sea, beauty, elegance, and visions. Twenty-six, uh, Venusian ri rising, new frequencies, fantasies, Libra energy. 27, only love may lead, appreciation, perspective, and resolution. 28, crystallized blessings, activation, rainbow energy, and awaken. 29, the transcendent alchemist, charmer, clairvoyant, fierce mystic. There's a lot going on there. I like that. 30 is Swan Medicine. Adaptability, confidence, and focus. 31, Vanilla Infused Memories. Enjoyment, relaxation, and ease. Oh, look at the little bunny. So cute. And I love this card. This is probably my favorite card out of the deck. 32 is Divine Destiny. It's written in the stars, the stars and fate. Claim it. Look at that. That's friggin' gorgeous. 33, Aphrodite Activation. Ignite heart, op Ignite heart Opening Goddess Guidance. 34, crystal clear channel, a bridge, portals are opening, and confirmation. 
I like this one too. 35, ground, ground the inner garden, retreat to nature, mother earth, and fairy codes. Look at that. 34, return of the pearl, past life remembrance, familiarity, and Akashic. Look at that in her, in her earring. Like you can see, like there's something going on inside of her earring there. That is just stunning. And then we have 37, the sacred bloom. It's happening. A new you, patience. Thirty-eight, ethereal girl summer. Let your hair down. Have fun. Spontaneous. Thirty-nine, angelic whispers. Feather energy. Loved ones in spirit. Divine signs. Forty, butterfly musings. Comfort, positivity, and spiritual growth. 41, bountiful beauty, bountiful boundaries. It's safe to say no, stand strong, loving barrier. 42. And then we have 42, waves of release, let go, absolve, and sentimental goodbyes. Oh, look at that. And you can see like there's a, there's a person here and she's releasing her, her emotions. Oh, that's beautiful. Wisteria rooted, longevity, luck, and fearless. 44, kingdom of heaven, ethereal codes, source energy, heaven on earth. That's gorgeous. And that, oh, and there was this. This was, I should have probably had that in the beginning. But that is the deck. I friggin' love it. But let's do a card real quick and see what your card is for right. and it shuffles it shuffles really nice like i said i just i love this deck Let's see give us a card a message people watching need to know. I'm gonna jump. That's all I do. I don't I only do jumpers. I'm curious how do you do your how do you do your cards? If it doesn't jump, I don't take it. <laughs> so I might be shuffling here for a minute. Please give me a card. Okay. The first one that came out. The first one that came out is number 16, Soft Goddess Era, Gentle Energy, Heart Healing, and Support. So let's go to the guidebook really quickly and see what they have to say about that. Number 16. All right. So it says, you are now entering an era where you feel safe to soften. This is an era where you feel you have grown. Healing is happening and you feel you are supported in most areas of your life. Trust that the other shoe is not about to drop. You have earned the session of fluidity and you now have a calm nervous system. When your nervous system is dysregulated, you may feel isolated, disinterest in your loved ones. You may have an emotional outburst. You may feel burnt out, low and depressed. You may also feel anger and fear and helplessness as well as extreme exhaustion. Though you may have felt this way in the past, you now have the tools and practices that you can use when you're feeling this way. This will allow you to soften and become more peaceful with th when things feel chaotic. Do not forget to continue to use the sacred support to open up your heart to all the possibilities and magic, a fresh new mindset, and a regulated system. And it says, soft, fragile butterfly, please land on me. There are so many stories that I wish to set free. The worries, the doubts, all that I know just can't be. I'll feel better once I lay here and soften slowly. And then the activating practice, it says, put on some soft music or maybe even some spiritual primal music and dance like nobody's watching. Feel your body soften, feel yourself drop out of your head and into your soft feminine body. 
intuitively move your body. Feel your body physically and allow yourself to be one with the movements. Dance in front of the mirror and allow yourself to be seen as the open-hearted goddess that you are. So I just, I love it. And here's everything that I just read to you guys. If you want to pause and, or screenshot it, so you can do that yourself. But like I said, just a beautiful deck. Um, and it's, I have it sitting on my Aphrodite is where, is her home. Like that is where she sets out now. But yeah, just a gorgeous deck. Let me know down below um, if you have this deck or what your thoughts were on it. And I did find this on Amazon, so you can get it, get it over there. But that is it for now, guys. And until next time, all of you, please stay safe and live well.